Last green test. Uh, naming test and action test. So, let's head back to Unity. Didn't port this to VR yet. The house and everything is just a whole uh, prefab ass and things. I just made a bit of a different coloring system so we can hear the actual being replying or doing things to us. So, for example, uh, Jennifer, turn on the lights. Jennifer? Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's pushed to talk now. It's not listening always. Uh, Jennifer? Turn the lights on. Okay, good. Jennifer, turn the lights off. Okay. Jennifer, turn the lights on. Jennifer, where are you? I guess here. Okay. Jennifer, turn off the lights. Jennifer, turn the lights off. Jennifer, turn the lights off. Jennifer, Turn the lights on. Jennifer, where are you? Okay, that's the reply actually. Okay. Just testing. Damn, this will be interesting in VR. Okay. Uh, this is just a template house, so... I just needed to use something. That's all. Jennifer, turn the lights on. Jennifer, turn the lights off. Okay. Seems like a uh, speech recognition and action methods are working. So now I can implement further things. And also I need to uh, implement this functionality into VR. Because if I run too much far ahead with the flat screen version, then VR will be a hell to catch up to. Okay, anyway. Just don't give a flying crap about the graphics and stuff like that, okay? Not even the house. It's just everything is just permanent. Uh, not permanent, it's just temporarily to check Jennifer. Well, actually, I can call it anything, so... But right now, it's only responding if I specifically call her name. So, for example, David, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Jennifer, where are you? I made a bit of a sound cue, so I will know that she got the reply. I mean, uh, she got the answer and she translated and with the highest, well, medium confidence level, she was able to enumerate the phrase and figure out on its own. David, turn off the lights. David, turn the lights off. Jenny, turn the lights off. If, even if you, if you don't say names, I'm still on push to talk. If you don't say names, it doesn't do anything. Turn the lights off. Where are you? Jennifer, where are you? Jennifer, where are you? 
Jennifer, turn off the lights. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, um, she's my temporary assistant right now. She's pretty communicative, but yeah. Um, that's it. Basically, just uh, I know it sounds a little bit weird, but except the distancing and entity being, because yeah. <laughs> Jennifer currently is a box, just saying. Uh, yeah, is this if if it if this would be a ghost hunting game, then this would be a spirit box, basically. So whatever. Anyway, Devlog Two is working. Uh, like and subscribe, or let me know if you want to see my tests what I come up with. The next ideas is like um, talking to the entity because I'm not imagining the whole game. Like talking to an entity which exactly requires you to talk to it. Like it goes to you and asks you like do you want to go left or right or do you want to die? And you have to respond yes or no. And if you give the wrong answer, you die, you are dead. If you don't choose one of those, for example, I don't know. Or so the storyline progresses as you communicate with the creatures and they will realize your phrases. And you don't still we don't need to rely on the Google API. Which is pretty good. So this is working offline. Anyway, too much mumbo jumbo. That's it. If you guys think this is boring for the channel, I'm not gonna record these or just put it on private and not gonna share it, okay? Uh, expect Into the Radius uh, and Alice Madness Return first, first uh, parts coming out. In the meantime, have fun. Now I have to implement this into VR. Oh god. Have a nice day.